Hello everybody and welcome to this video walkthrough. We are going to be looking at issue 8 of the Pro Detailer magazine. Now issue 8 came out in uh, December 2018 so it's been out for a good few months now uh, but as yet I haven't had a chance to do a proper walkthrough. So first of all front cover we have Kev Dawson of Intimate Detail uh, touching a Porsche that he did a very nice job on and there is a full write up with some lovely photos inside. Uh, Kev is a photographer and um, as we turn in you will find uh, that there were a lot of new products we tried to feature. We did an A to Z of news, but it turned out to be an A to W of news uh, because uh, we ran out of things at Z. Um, in the event section, we followed the Audi A8 club, or A8 group rather, uh, around North Yorkshire, uh, which was a lot of fun doing the photography for them and also doing some lectures on car care uh, for the owners there. You will also find that we went to the NEC Classic Show and we bumped into the likes of Dodo Juice, Leather Repair Company, Colour Lock Furniture Clinic, you name it, we were talking to them. Um, then we went on to uh, do an article on SEMA. Now, SEMA, unfortunately, we weren't able to go to SEMA ourselves, uh, but thankfully, Autoality, Russ and the guys um, in America were able to go over there, and they did some lovely photos for us, and we also had Ram from Colorlock who was over there. Um, then we go into the new product section, and it's pretty intense. Uh, lots of products, everything for the sort of beginner, enthusiast at home, right up to the professionals with the latest kit uh, from all the big names. We then carry on, and and the theme was winter. Obviously now it's warming up so it seems a bit alien uh, but we did a lot on how to safely wash and detail your car in cold temperatures uh, and I know some of it seems a little obvious but actually there are lots of really handy tips and tricks in there. We looked into water freezing from a wash bucket point of view and uh, played around with putting in the same stuff you get in vape juice uh, into the water to see if it would reduce the boiling point or rather the freezing point and uh, it did uh, though in quite high proportions so it's not necessarily practical but we might do some more testing next year on that. We then had a bit of a wash special. So I spent a long time on what we call Burt's buckets and we're going through all the different types of buckets that are available, pros and cons of each one, how they're best used. Then we looked at all the accessories. So we did the history of kind of grit guards and the equivalent products that are around there. And instantly for the next issue, I really want to create a sort of beer moth of a kind of bucket system with a sort of fish tank pump and filter system uh, with inline heating with inline um, purification in terms of a DI vessel and stuff like that. Um, I haven't quite got round to playing with it yet but that is the plan. Um, then we have our first of two mega tests in this issue. This was on wash media. Now the thing with wash media is um, that obviously we know not to use sponges. We actually introduced some sponges into the test, both a cheapo 50p sponge and a sort of deluxe nice sponge to see um, how much damage they actually did do. But we're also interested in testing uh, microfibers, noodle mitts, wool mitts, uh, natural and fake wool, um, to see whether there really was a difference. We use black acrylic, which is very, very easily marred um, to do that, which appreciably is not at the surface of a car on the whole, although you do get piano black trim, um, but it was more to do a comparison between them. And you'll be interested to find what the results are. Um, so we did that and we were surprised by the results. We've got lots of sort of microscopic photos of them um, and of the various panels after they've been marred or, or not marred. So that's an interesting one, certainly controversial. Next we did Archangel is the name of the article, uh, basically cleaning wheel arches. And Ian, our, sub, our features editor, um, had a uh, DeLorean in at UK Detailing at the time, so we used that as an example. Um, we then did a special spread on Carnauba, uh, Carnuba, uh, basically the wax that everybody gets excited about, where it comes from, how it's made. There are some fascinating things in terms of how long it takes Carnuba trees to come to maturity and how often you can harvest them and where the Carnuba actually comes from. Instantly, it's the fronds of the uh, of the tree and the T1 and the T3 wax comes from different parts of that same sort of leaf. Interesting stuff. Then we had a bit of a debate, a bit of a polemic on uh, the tailored wax debate. So this is wax that claim to be specifically tailored uh, by the colour of your car, the make of your car, the age of your car. And we talked about the various different issues, uh, tried to dispel some myths. Um, and at the end of it, having been very serious, uh, we took the Michael out of ourselves and created a very handy little guide to uh, choosing your own tailored wax. Uh, including people who, if you have a uh, 1937 Bugatti 57SC Atlantique, we have a specific wax for you, but get your wallet ready. We then have another feature from Gentleman Detailer, and also a thank you to Stuart Porter of the Clean Car Company for buying Betty, our original Subaru pro uh, project car, uh, which has now been replaced by Boris, the Outback, um, who currently has got the engine uh, about 10 foot away from the car, so it's not working very well, but we are going to get him back on the road. Uh, we're assured of it, we've just got compression issues. Uh, we then have the write-up sections, 
so we have a uh, the main write-up from Kevin again this Porsche needed everything and it looks really really good by the end of it um, aided by his photos we have Fran uh, Mahoney FM detailing and he had a go at a 914-6 so the Porsche that people forget uh, but the six-cylinder version and it's quite funky it's a different looking car it's sort of welcome to the 70s uh, we then did an article on a video that we've got which was up in Bury near Manchester on a Mercedes which was a competition winner who got a competition to win uh, his car being detailed for a day by a couple of PVD members which was great um, then we have Mythbusters and this is John Deleu back from the Forensic Detailing channel and he did a couple of tests and chatted about the difference between dishwasher soap a sort of your, your liquid of the divine type think cherub um, and uh, a conventional proper automotive car shampoo um, so interesting cup there big shout out to Alan Medcraft of AM Details he very kindly did a uh, big double page spread on Ask Alan Anything he's our domesticated detailing agony aunt and we're always looking for questions so do just email us editor at pro-detailer.co.uk um, email your questions through I'll pass them on to Alan and we shall answer them for you then we had an article called Rising Stars this was about Alex Chapman of AWC who is over in kind of Kent Essex where I'm going to say east of the country and he's really young really young like early early 20s I think or even just 20 and he started when he was just a, a, a young teenager built it up all himself he was not funded he was not sort of had massive investors or anything like that um, he got on with it and now he has a lovely unit and he is treating supercars he's appearing on really popular uh, YouTube channels and Instagram feeds and stuff like that he's really cooking on, on gas as they say um, and how he did it his journey which is a kind of a one for us all to, to listen and read about next we have coming to America so this was a kind of trader talk style article very much on importing uh, products to America uh, it was kindly put together in cahoots with Russ at um, Autoality in America our US Disty um, and this was about bringing the different sorts of brands together and we've got some sort of input from various different people both sides of the Atlantic including Dom Colbeck of Dodo Juice um, on how much fun it is exporting chemicals and selling them in the USA um, I then did a big article on an important topic which is car care qualifications it's being discussed quite a lot currently on Facebook anyway um, essentially we are putting together a very very thorough syllabus uh, 10 modules most of which are both practical and theory to give you a perspective the theory exams are 5,000 words each just in the questions they're about an hour and a half two hours worth of work on each one we're putting a lot of effort into it um, they're not ready yet but when they are they will be fairly serious um, and um, the idea is to bring some some nice fixed regulation that everybody can get behind and say look these are, are, are genuine assessments and if you can answer these questions and you can demonstrate this in practical real-world environment um, then you're okay by us and that's I think quite important in a world where lots of people turn up declaring themselves to be professional detailers um, after three days and, and a bit of a YouTubing anyhow next we have Facebook Pro so I've done a little marketing guide marketing to my background um, and we do it on um, how to make the best YouTube posts for your business and yes it is targeted towards car valeter detail businesses but any small business frankly um, is potentially useful particularly those who are service side um, so worth a read there we had another chemistry corner this time thanks again to John Hogg who did it on snow foam so we telephone interviewed John um, and we couldn't do it verbatim because it was too rude um, but we did put lots of relevant chemistry information in there and it's interesting there's more to a snow foam than you might think then uh, we did an interview with Nick Griot of Griot's Garage. Again, fascinating, um, big, big brand out there in the States. It's growing in popularity here, so hopefully they'll come over in more force because from what I've read and talked about with people, very strong products indeed. So um, then we get on to the main mega test. It was metal polishes. Now you might be thinking, why have you done metal polishes? People hardly ever use metal polishes. And well, the answer is there are lots of classic car owners and many of those use metal polishes. And almost any car will have a chrome tailpipe of some description. So it's useful, or a stainless steel one, useful to know what the best polish is because you're only really gonna have one or two and it's gonna be on your shelf and when you use it, you want it to work. Fascinating results. We thought it would be the old school, gritty, grainy, aggressive ones that would do the best on the hard metals um, and would suffer on, on the soft metals like aluminium. And we thought that the liquidy ones that are just solvent would be pretty poor on things like stainless, uh, but shine on things like, you know, chrome and uh, on aluminium. 
Anyway, we were wrong. <laughs> so, um, read to find out which is best. I can't remember, I think we did about 13 or so together. Um, I'm gonna hide the final page from the camera so that people don't know what it is unless they've already read the magazine because I'm nasty like that. Anyhow, this magazine is available in the UK and worldwide. Uh, in the UK, it's 4 95 including postage. Anywhere outside the USA and the Netherlands, it's available on our website too. Uh, there is an additional postage charge, obviously, because it's got to go further and we've got to basically give the pigeon more nuts and whatever pigeon eat to carry it. Um, and if you are in the USA, go to autoality.com. And if you're in Holland, go to carcare.nl because both of those chaps, that's Vinny and Russ, um, have the magazine in stock and are able to ship it out to you quicker and for less than we could. So that's rather good. Anyhow, thanks very much for watching and we will be bringing out the next one in July 2019. You can subscribe now for 2019, which gets you um, the July issue, it gets you the December issue, it gets you the Wax Stock Guide. They'll go out in advance of Wax Stock as well. And there's a premium option where you also get a windscreen do not wash hanger, a sticker and a wax stock adult ticket. So uh, it's fairly good and that's only £25 and the basic subscription is £9.99 all including postage. Anyway thanks again, speak to you soon.